Wheat farmers devastated by PFAS contamination are attending a conference at Michigan State University to learn about methods to decontaminate soil and some new ways of farming. The 2023 Center for PFAS Research second annual symposium has drawn farmers from across the country, PFAS researchers, professors, and officials from the USDA. State regulators say contamination from sludge spreading has tainted more than 70 main farms, forcing four operations to shut down. At a news conference Monday, impacted farmers from Maine and other states lobbied for the passage of the Relief for Farmers Hit with PFAS Act. The bill would authorize grants for states to provide financial assistance to affected farmers, expand monitoring and testing, remediate PFAS, or even help farmers relocate. PFAS has, or has managed to uh, rob uh, my dairy operation, which goes back three generations. We've managed to have to uh, exterminate 80% of our herd. We need a, fa a federal safety net to help keep impacted farms in business and help them help us all move forward. The University of Maine and Maine Farmland Trust is hosting a symposium focusing on the impact of PFAS on agriculture in Maine. That's on November 7th at Colby College.